Hello and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John, and today I've got a review of Clowns vs. Spiders by Jeff Strand. Now, this is one of those books that I don't have the synopsis for it because I read it on an ebook, and I'm lazy. I forgot to copy down the synopsis. And anyway, but anyway, do you really need a synopsis for this type of book? Uh, let's put it this way. First of all, we got a prologue. All right, the prologue takes place about a hundred years ago or so, and uh, it's this pirate ship, or sort of a pirate ship, sees another ship kind of stranded out at sea, and one thing leads to another. Some of the crew from the pirate ship, or whatever you want to call it, goes over to that ship, and it is completely covered in webs, and there are spiders as big as your head on board this ship. So it kind of gives you a prologue and a setup and an, or an origin, so to speak, for the existence of the spiders. All right, now we are going to cut from about 100 years ago to the modern day. And we have a clown. His name is Jaunty the Clown. He is a rodeo clown. And one day while doing what rodeo clowns do, which is to protect the rider or the, the bull rider or whatever you call him, uh, the, uh, what do you call him? Uh, bull, not a bullfighter, bull, bull rider. I don't know. I'm not even sure. Anyway, but to do that, he uh, gets, but anyway, he gets hurt. He gets hurt. He ends up in the hospital, and it turns out he's not going to be able to be a radio clown anymore. So he gets hired by this clown to work in the circus, and the clown's name is Guffaw the Clown, okay? So Guffaw uh, hires him to work at the circus, and he's just happy as a uh, Happy as a clown, okay? All right? Because he's entertaining children. He's entertaining audiences, making people laugh. Uh, he meets new clowns. He meets Bluehead. That's a girl. Uh, Wagon the Clown. Uh, Reginald. And I think I think that might be all. Anyway, so yeah. But then something happens. And uh, oh, actually what happens, I believe, is that basically because people nowadays think clowns are scary. Clowns are um, frightening or whatever. You know, they don't really want clowns as part of the circus anymore, so they lose their jobs. And they get hired, much to their reluctance, to be scary, evil clowns at a haunted house attraction. You know, where you walk through the haunted house and you get to a certain room. Well, when you get to their room, they are the killer clowns. Not from outer space, just killer clowns anyway. So, next thing you know, alright, I'm kind of going around the world with this, okay? But anyway... Uh, there's one little section of the book where you discover that the spiders have been hanging out in this cave. Somebody opens up the cave again, and next thing you know, all the spiders come out again. So now we're leading into where the title of the book comes into play, okay? And so next thing you know, the spiders begin to invade the haunted house attraction, and it is up to the clowns, jaunty, bluehead, wagon, Guffaw and Reginald to save the day. All right, that is pretty much the premise of clowns or the synopsis of clowns versus spiders. All right, this book is one of those books that I enjoy because guess what? It doesn't pretend to be anything other than absolute goofy fun. It is not allegorical. It is not metaphorical. It is not categorical. It is not anything that has oracle or ickle or whatever in it. All right, it's just absolute crazy flipping fun. It's a little bit gory in places, but for the most part, it's fun. It's hilarious, all right? It's a little bit scary in places. You know, I kind of had a few moments there where I thought, well, dang, jaunty man, he's not, he's just not having a good time. He's about to buy the farm because of these freaking spiders. I mean, you got to be scared. If you're a, if you are, this book actually, okay, first of all, let me say something. This book was part of the, one of my prompts for the, one of the prompts, the first and the last prompt, I believe, for the uh, Halloween-a-thon that was created by Paul over at Purgatory Limbo Booktubes Offering, oh my gosh, Pur Purgatory Limbo Offerings Booktuber, yeah. And well, the first prompt was to read something that about something that you fear. I don't like clowns. I don't know if I'm scared of them. I just don't like clowns, all right? And then the last prompt was to read a book about something that someone else fears. My stepdaughter is petrified, terrified, all the fides of spiders. She is just scared crapless of them, all right? So there you go. We're talking about a marriage made in heaven or hell, depending if you're a chorophobe or a arachnophobia, arachnophobe. Uh, so yeah, that's why I picked this book.
It's just fun. It's scary. It's fun. It's hilarious in places. Uh, one of the funniest parts in this book is whenever the clowns are all gathered in this one car, all right, and they're traveling through the town. Now, the whole town has been webbed over, all right, and every time they go a certain amount of feet, the webs just pick up on the wheels and stuff and just, they got to get out and they got to take the, you know, and they got to fight off spiders and, and, you know, get the webs off and go a little further. Well, they start picking people up. I think they pick up like two more people. So you're thinking to yourself, this is getting kind of crowded. You know, I mean, how many people are in this car? And then you think to yourself, oh, wait a minute. It's a clown car. Of course there's going to be a lot of people in it. All right? I guarantee you. Do you guys remember Doink the Clown from WWE? Uh, the, he passed away. And I guarantee you that the entire funeral procession traveled in one car. All right? That's just the fact of the matter. I'm, I guarantee you they traveled in one car. But anyway, I'm getting off, off, off the subject here. I'm getting on, on a tangent and all that. I just want to say that Clowns vs. Spiders is just one hell of a fun freaking book. I highly recommend this is I I recommend it. I, I give I give it uh what I give it four stars, I believe. Yeah, I do. I highly recommend this book. It's just fun. If you like books like this, then by all means check this book out. Uh it's by Jeff Strand. I don't know if I've said that or not. I've only read one other book by Jeff Strand, and that was Wolf Hunt, and I thought that was hilarious also. But also at the same time was very gory and had a very scary thing. Strand has a thing for writing these type of books, and I have a thing for enjoying reading them. So there you go. This is my review of Clowns vs. Spiders. And oh, let me say one thing. As an extra bonus, when you're reading this book, if you do decide to read it, if you're reading it, read it out loud as if you are reading a children's book. That just makes it that much creepier. I'm serious. It just does. I don't know why. I even said that on Instagram, and Jeff Strand himself wrote back and said, that's a good idea or good advice. All right. So anyway, yeah, Clowns vs. Spiders. Four-star rating. Highly recommended. That's going to do it for today. That's my review. Thank you for watching and see you later. Bye-bye.